Okay, we're going to uh, be taking the master control switches off on the driver's door of a 2003 Chevy Tahoe and cleaning them out and putting them back together. Hopefully that'll solve our intermittent working of the window and our intermittent working of the unlock feature for the power door locks. I got my little blue pry tool made in China from a five pack I bought at Harbor Freight for a really good price. I'm gonna pry this thing sideways a little. Well, that was a bear to get out, but I used my little sturdier pry bar out of my set of uh, auto and trim molding tools. So we'll just go ahead and unplug our wires and get this thing apart and, and go from there. We're going to unplug this and take it to the workbench. This thing looks like it's got a strap holding it. We'll flip that down. There it is off. We'll take this over to the workbench. Okay, we're over here on the workbench. I'm gonna take this thing apart here. Here's our little tool from before. See if we can slide this apart. We got one side loose. Handy little tool. Hey, slide number two, Liz. Put the trim out of the way. Thing looks really dirty. I think we need to take this bottom half apart and clean up the contacts. Let's see if we can do that without too much damage here. Oh, it's even, it's even got tamper proof tape on it. Yes, we have been inside. We have been in. Okay, we got all the little side tabs apart. I'll pull this off. Got a little printed circuit board in there. Yes. Dirtier than hell. It's uh, not even gonna mess with that. And we're going to slide out this little board and get to the tabs underneath it. As you can see, it's got little black tabs that we have to depress to get it apart. Well, we got the the uh, little doodad apart here. This sits down in here and runs the uh, makes contact to the board here like this. And uh, these, where I was having trouble was with this uh, power door lock and a couple of windows. They look a, a little dirty. I think I'm going to just clean them up with a little alcohol so it's not induce any other problems in this little board and put it back together. I'm going to get my can of compressed air for the computer and blow this out first. Because it looks really dirty and I think we'll be ready to go after that. Okay, we're going to take our isopropyl alcohol and pour in all over the place. A sunflower seed, this is off. We need sunflower seeds. Maybe it came out of this thing. Maybe a bird dropped it in there. 
That's a little too much alcohol for this thing. Everything worked except the one window roll up. And they all work, they just had to fiddle with the button. And the power door master unlock, which is this one back here, which still looks pretty grimy. So, well, I don't have any electronics cleaner. This thing's getting dirty, so. Doing a pretty good job. That looks a lot cleaner than it did. Maybe that'll be enough to run it. Okay, that looks a lot better than it did. I'm not going to use anything else on it. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing back, to get back together. Seems how this thing makes the contact for these little circuits. I'm going to I'm going to clean them up too with a little alcohol at least. All the little black buttons in there. Let's see how that goes. How about a new swab? How about a lot less cleaner than we had last time? We'll just do a little... Oh, we're getting some gunk out of there. And we'll get a little more. This drives fast. Just hit those little doodads. Kind of getting some black on my end of my little swab there. Just put a little goo on the other end. I mean, 91% rubbing alcohol, not goo. We'll ungoo these. There, that looks a lot better. Those are, holy cow, I dropped it. Okay, now well, let's see if we can get this thing back together. Actually, that's better. You can't really get it backwards because you have these two pins. These contacts come down and hit this board and it only goes in one way and it slides in. It was kind of a bugger to get out but it just slides back in and snaps under each one of these little tabs. Make sure that each one is locked. There's Eight of them here, that one click, that one click, that one click. That one was already clicked. Yes it was, this one's not in. And that one's in. All eight, look down both ends. All eight are in. And, uh, and then I'm going to just check these switches. like all that little rubber thing stayed in the right place. Okay, now we can put the electronic guts back in here. We'll uh, gently slide this back together. I didn't take this apart because I didn't see any real reason to it. And these, this, I did blow that off with uh, the uh, computer air cleaner, but it really didn't do much. I want to make sure all those pins get lined up. With just one end, and, and then it sits on a post here. And they have a little tapered end of that post where this thing sits on it, and it snaps in from our snaps. I gave that one a little much of a tweak. It's kind of overkill on this thing with eight, but they're there, so. I'm going to gently see if we can't slide that together and get the other side in and voila. 
we're back together. We're ready to put that thing back in the car. And this thing just snaps right back out where it came in. Snaps right in, right back in where it came from. I don't know if I can talk here a little bit. And uh, you can see the front of it. Goes right together. It's got eight little tabs. Four on each side, four on that side. And we're all back together. Okay, we're back over here to the car. So we'll plug this thing back in. The first one. And then we've got this little gizmo here. There. That one doesn't go in there, that one goes here. And I think that's extra, because it was not hooked up. Let's lower this down a little bit. Snap that back in, voila, we've got it. There, oh instant. Yeah, I'd have to wiggle that to get that unlocked. I'd have to wiggle and wiggle, wiggle. Works on the first touch. And uh, let's see how the window do. was having trouble with this window we we'll go down I come back up works works every time I don't know what that controller cost it's like a hundred dollars a little bit of time how much driver's window always works oh I love that squeak everything works great prior to that binging okay We're all done with our little project here. We got our uh, contacts all cleaned up. It wasn't too hard, uh, a little scary. We didn't break anything. Cheaper to buy a new one and everything works great. Like it was brand new. Went snap back in and we're all done. And because it's a Chevy Tahoe, there's much more stuff to uh, take apart and fix, so we'll have another video. Thanks so much for watching.